Good morning, youth group, and welcome back to Sunday School. Today is Sunday, April 25th, 2021, and it is the fourth Sunday of Easter. So happy Easter. He is risen. By now, you certainly know the response to he is risen. So this morning, we're going to start off with a farming question. <laughs> Are you ready? What do you know about sheep? I mean, you know that they're adorable, fluffy farm animals. And in many parts of the world, they're still extremely valuable livestock. They were raised in most of the biblical world for their wool, for all kinds of cloth resources, as well as for their meat and their milk. We commonly refer to sheep as dumb animals, but that's really a misconception. Sheep are actually quite intelligent with a great capacity for memory and recognition. Sheep are extremely gentle by nature, and historians believe they may have been the first animals to have been domesticated. Despite being intelligent, sheep, um, well, they aren't exactly independent and can't really be left to their own devices. They need to live in flocks, they depend on each other, and they have to have someone that looks after them, protects them, and provides for them in just about every way. What's the job of a shepherd then? Well, a shepherd needs to keep the sheep safe from predators, lead them to food and water, rescue them when they fall or get lost, and he uses tools and resources like that staff that you always see a shepherd carrying and even a herding dog or two to safely guide and direct sheep to where they need to be. Shepherds often lived among the sheep. They lived in the, in the, in the flocks. They camped out in the fields. They slept in the fields. They ate at campfires in the meadows um, right beside their flocks of sheep so that they could be present in case of danger. It also helped them to know and understand their sheep. And by loving their flocks so well, they knew how to best provide for them. So knowing all of this about sheep and shepherds, does it surprise you to find that in John chapter 10, Jesus describes himself as the good shepherd? I'm going to read those verses from John chapter 10, starting with verse 11. I'm reading today from the New International Version. I am the good shepherd. Keep in mind, this is Jesus that's speaking. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and carries nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the father knows me and I know the father, I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice and they shall be one flock with one shepherd. The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. No one takes it from me. I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command I received from my father. So the words of Jesus. So if you thought being a shepherd maybe sounded like an easy job. Are you thinking differently about it? It sounds like a lot of work to me. I spent years working in elementary schools and I often referred to many of my experiences, especially in kindergarten classrooms, as herding cats. Have you ever tried to herd cats? Good luck. Now how about all of humanity? Jesus points out that a hired hand, which would be a farm worker who is being paid to do some extra work at the farm. A hired hand is not a shepherd. The sheep don't belong to him and he won't die for the sheep. 
When a wolf is spotted, the hired hand may just run away, leave the sheep, but he'll save himself. He doesn't have the same care and love for the sheep but the sh that the shepherd does. But Jesus says, I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Who are the sheep in this scenario? I mean, you know it's us, right? Followers, disciples, humanity. Jesus says that there are sheep that are not part of his flock, but that he'll bring them in also so that they'll all have the good shepherd providing for them and protecting them. So my question this morning is, how does it make you feel to know that Jesus is your shepherd? How does it make you feel to know that Jesus, like a good shepherd, lived among his people, his sheep, so that he could know us and love us and know how to best protect and provide for us? How do you feel knowing that Jesus wants to gather us together into one flock? Think about that this week. Holy God, thank you for Jesus who cares for us as a shepherd cares for sheep. We are grateful for your love and for all the people who surround us with love like yours. Amen. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you back here again next week. Bye-bye.